As part of the mechanical and aerospace engineering uh, course in the IUP program, I was able to get lectures from many different professors who are quite exceptional in, in their field and really learn the fundamentals of engineering uh, quite efficiently. University education should be about teaching skills, giving people abilities that they didn't have before. So, um, one of the areas of focus I, I think for everybody here is to get students able to do things and think in a way that they couldn't do before while they were at high school. Highlight I think would be the undergraduate research just because like I mean I've been talking to friends from like back in Indonesia as well or from other places and I don't think the undergraduate research experience is like as extensive as here. Japan is very much at the forefront of engineering, so I think that this is first of all a great opportunity. I think it's something of an unusual international student destination, but that on the other side provides an opportunity then, which I think other countries ne don't necessarily provide. So you, not only can you fulfill your educational aims, but you can also experience a different culture and uh, you know, make use of uh, the opportunities that that provides. The department covers a variety of um, subjects such as electrical circuit design and electronic devices, communication theory, control theory, superconducting technology, artificial intelligence, computer vision, robotics, and so on, so many stuff. Uh, they are all quite essential and critical in advancing today's high-tech society. We conduct so many interesting research, ranging from artificial intelligence, computer vision, uh, image recognition, and electrified aircraft, flying cars, etc. And yeah, robotics and so on. Well, my laboratory is called Systems and Control. We study control systems, and what I study is I try to control a system of robots. I think the environment of my lab is very supportive and helpful because even if I'm stuck, I can always consult with my professor because professors here can speak both Japanese and English. So in case if I'm stuck, I can always ask for help from my professor. Also, this gives me the golden opportunity to work with international, other international students from all over the world and Japanese students as well. I don't think this is an experience that you can get if you're staying in your home country. In uh, part of the chemistry department, uh, we use uh, molecule and the polymers uh, for materials applications. In our department, uh, we use molecule for nanomaterial uh, for function functional application, uh, such as a fuel cell, uh, catalyst, uh, cosmetic, uh, bio applications. So uh, professors are focusing on uh, using the molecules for these uh, functional materials. I wanted to specialize in fuel cell because I was concerned about the global warming issue and I, I am confident and believe that fuel cell is the uh, hope to solve this problem. So um, when I want to uh, study in fuel cell, I have to search for the environment and the research level of um, fuel cell research in throughout the world. Like so, especially in fuel cell research, Japan is quite famous for it because the government plays a lot of budget, but also because um, the research level there is high where you have a lot of papers, famous papers coming out from Kyushu University. Currently, I'm a member of the biochemistry lab in Kyushu University. There, I study about biology and chemistry and how combined we can develop new materials for the purpose of drug carrier. My research topic is especially concerned with the characteristics of new material for the purpose of biomedical technology. You know, civil engineering is a very broad discipline. It uh, covers uh, both disaster mitigation, environmental protection, planning of our cities, and preserving our ecosystem. And all these factors combined, we can contribute to the safe and affluent 
living of the people of the nation. In civil engineering, we work on roads and buildings and social infrastructure for society. And to me, social uh, contribution is a really important part, and I want to be able to give back to the world with the studies that I have made at Kyushu University. We learn about how machines and technology work and how to apply that knowledge to uh, tackle different engineering challenges that we are facing today. Uh, mechanical and aerospace engineering also provide us uh, many opportunities for us to study and do research in many fields such as uh, machine design, uh, system and control engineering, uh, aeronautics and astronautics, and renewable energies. So Kyushu University is probably, probably one of the biggest campuses uh, which is focusing on hydrogen energy in the world. We have a huge um, number of different uh, facilities and infrastructure based around hydrogen. We have several departments and research centres all focusing on different aspects and wide aspects of hydrogen energy. Um, we have lots of infrastructure, for example, um, hydrogen filling stations and several fuel cell vehicles um, that we can all focus on um, looking at the industrial aspects of hydrogen as well. Um, and because of all this, many of our students go on to work in the hydrogen industry um, in Japanese companies uh, after they graduate.